Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and this is a review for the Anmade DLP Mini Wi-Fi Projector. You'll receive the Mini DLP Projector, a USB power cable, a wall adapter power cable, a mini tripod, remote control, and an instruction manual. I also received a micro SD card shipped separately, which contained a software update. The projector has a glossy black finish and measures 6 inches by 3 inches and 3 quarter inch thick. The outer frame is aluminum, and the bottom has a really cool pixel pattern as well as the fan exhaust and quarter inch 20 thread hole for mounting to a tripod. On the front is the projector lens along the long side of the projector. Then to its left is the focus wheel for adjusting the image focus. On the back is the external speaker, power button, HDMI input port, headphone audio out, DC power port, USB input, pinhole reset, and micro SD card slot. There are no physical playback buttons on the body of the unit, so be sure not to lose the remote control. When you plug the unit in, it'll start charging the internal battery, and the LED indicator on top just below the logo will flash red. On a full charge, the player can last up to 2 hours of playback, so make sure to plug it in or use a portable battery pack if you're watching a long movie where you don't have access to an outlet. When the player is turned on, the projector is quick to boot up and comes preloaded with Android 4.4.4. The 100 ANSI lumen brightness of this projector makes the image hard to see in a brightly lit room, especially when the projected image has a larger than 50 inch diagonal. Text also becomes somewhat blurry at larger display dimensions since the native output resolution for this projector is only 480p. Note however that it can accept input resolutions via HDMI of up to 1080p. It has built-in Wi-Fi that you can use to connect to your home Wi-Fi network, and Bluetooth capability as well, so you can stream the audio to a Bluetooth speaker or headphones. You'll need two AAA batteries to use the remote control, which are not included. Using the remote to navigate the interface is fairly easy, though sometimes if you can't find your position, I end up having to use the mouse key to bring up the cursor. That lets you move a pointer around the screen to click on what you want to select. However, using a wireless keyboard and mouse make things much easier. The remote also lets you change the volume and adjust the screen keystone to square up the image, but you can also do this from the settings menu. Without the software update, I wasn't able to get the Google Play Store to work. Thankfully, the upgrade is easy to perform. Simply insert the SD card with the update software and power the unit on. The update will run automatically and takes several minutes. When it's done, it'll prompt you to remove the SD card and restarts automatically. After the update, the Google Play Store seemed to work fine. Streaming apps like YouTube and Netflix also worked pretty well. The color depth and contrast are better than I expected, and the images were sharp and clear. The onboard audio, however, is small and boxy, but it does get loud enough to drown out the fan noise. This channel is where I get to show all of you cool and interesting products that I've used and tested in the real world. Now, what does that mean? So I'm sure... Even so, you're better off using the audio out port or streaming to a Bluetooth device. I was actually impressed that there was very little noticeable lag between the picture and audio when using a Bluetooth speaker. Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here and this is a review for the Zero Edge Z2 Plus rear view mirror dashboard camera. If you have an Android phone, you can cast your screen wirelessly to the projector too, but note that there may be a slight delay between what happens on your phone and the image and sound that appears on the projector screen. Overall, the projector creates a really nice image even at large dimensions with a 100 to 120 inch diagonal. Just note though, you'll get the best resolution and brightness at 50 inches and under. The projector works extremely well as a streaming video player, and when paired with a Bluetooth home theater system, makes for a pretty awesome movie night or gaming experience. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.